Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our Confetti Alamo painting. Let's make sure we have all of our supplies ready. We'll need some brushes. We have a large, a medium, and a small brush. We'll need a cup of water to wash off our brushes and paper towel to dry off our brushes. Our kit came wrapped up in some paper and that is good to put underneath your canvas as we paint so you don't get anything else painty. And we have some paints. So I have black, white, blue, dark green, light green, light yellow, dark yellow, orange, pink, red, and brown. I'm gonna find my biggest brush. I'm gonna give that brush a quick little dip in the water, get things flowing. I'm gonna tap on the paper so it's not all drippy. And we're gonna start with our background color. So for my background color, I'm gonna mix up kind of a turquoise color. So on my paints here, I'm gonna get a good scoop of white off to the side. I'm gonna get a little bit of blue and just a little bit of that dark green color. And I'm gonna mix them all together. Keep mixing till you get a color that you like. You can add a little bit more blue, a little bit more green. Whatever you think. Once you have a color that you like, we're gonna fill in all of our background. I'm gonna go around all those edges. I'm gonna fill in all of our background. While I have this color on my brush, I'm also going to wrap it around and paint the little side edges to match. So wherever you have your sky color, we'll just wrap it around that corner, and get that little side, and get all the top edge. Okay, so we're gonna let our sky dry for a little while. 
I washed off my brush, I dried off my big brush, and we're gonna fill in our base color on our Alamo. So I'm gonna go into my darker yellow, just by itself, and I'm gonna paint around my windows, and I'll paint around the door, but all those other lines I can cover. And I'm just gonna fill in all of the Alamo. If you need to use that smaller brush, go for it. Fill in all in. Well, I have this color on my brush. I'm also gonna wrap it around that side edge. Got all the bottom edge. Not on the wrong side. Okay, so after you have all of that, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna find my medium brush and we're gonna fill in our door and our windows, plus we're gonna add some more windows. Coming up in a little bit here. Um, so I'm gonna fill in my door. A little medium brush over here. I'm gonna grab some orange. If you wanna do a different color, definitely can. And we're just gonna fill in all of that shape. Now for these windows, you can definitely do any different colors that you like. Um, I'm going to make this one orange maybe. You can do other ones orange. And do just this one. I'm going to switch colors. I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush. I'm going to go in for a light blue next, so I'm going to mix white and blue together to make a light blue. And I'm going to use that for the 
this big window up here. I washed my brush off, I dried off my brush, and I'm gonna go in for a light green for this window down here, these guys, and then we're gonna add some, some more. So I'm going to get a good little scoop of white over here by my green. Mix them together. rounder windows. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. So I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna find my smaller brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of this green that I mixed up. And I'm gonna fill these guys in. Too small, I can definitely use that medium brush. Whichever one you like better. I'm going to add um, these two windows here. They're going to be kind of this shape. So I'm going to find kind of um, where I want to add these. These are going to be kind of right underneath. So if you find this line here, it's gonna be kind of to the side of that, right above it. So I'm gonna make the bottom of each window, make a little line that's gonna be the bottom of the window. And then I'm gonna make that long kind of gumdrop shape on the top. Kind of sketch it out. And I'm gonna fill it in. So after those guys, I'm going to add a couple more windows underneath these square ones over here. If you want to, you don't have to have to, but I'm going to add those guys. Um, so I'm going to switch back to my medium brush. I'm going to add these on with some purple. So I'm going to grab some purple, Get some purple here, and I'm just going to make a similar shape as that one. Right Don't worry if the edges are a little scratchy, we're going to outline this way. And the purple against the yellow kind of turns a brown. So if that happens, don't worry. It's going to happen. Okay, so we have some windows. Um, we're going to add on this kind of little cross beam next on the top. So I'm going to keep using my medium brush. Um, so I'm going to wash it off. I'm going to dry it off. I'm going to add that on with some orange. So with some orange, orange just by itself. You can definitely do a different color if you want. I'm going to follow this line. So I'm placing my brush on the top of it, right there. 
kind of the thickness of your brush, so brush side to side. And I'm just going to follow it all the way across. Whenever it gets a little scratchy, just get a little bit more paint. Going all the way across underneath your windows. All the way across. Following that line. While I have that orange on my brush, I'm also going to add some orange on these kind of pillars and I'm going to go about halfway down on each one. So I'm going right over top and then I'm going to stop maybe a little bit lower than the window. So I went halfway down with these. I'm gonna do the other half in a darker color. So I'm gonna choose a purple like this one. I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush. I'm gonna get some purple. And I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna meet that orange. So I kind of filled in the other half with purple and then I'm going to add that little top of the line. So I'm just going to go across, I just want to go a little thicker, each one. So it's a little underneath the window. So we're gonna let that dry for a while now. And we're gonna go over here to the edge and add that little outline. Um, so I'm gonna switch to my smallest brush. Um, this one does this in purple, but you can definitely do a black or a brown. I'm gonna grab um, some purple on my little brush. To get this brush nice and pointy, you can kind of twirl it, twirl and drag in your paint. So kind of twirl and drag, twirl and drag in your paint to get that brush nice and pointy. Take your time. Okay, then all along that edge. And I keep grabbing more paint as I go along. So whenever it gets a little scratchy, I'm just grabbing more paint instead of pressing harder.
So once you have um, the little edge all outlined, while I still have that purple on my brush, I'm going to also outline my door and add a little bit of texture to it. So I'm gonna get a little bit more purple on that brush and I'm gonna go all around the edge. It's okay if the line is a little thick. It's kind of the nature of it. Go over that line in the middle. I'm gonna add that little handle. It's gonna be a line just right across, it's about halfway through. Like that. And then I'm gonna add these little lines over here. So I'm going to add a few lines going kind of side to side, and then I can do some lines going up and down. Just give a little texture and make it look like abstract and wood grain maybe. Give a little pattern. And then last little place, while I still have the purple on my brush, um, whichever windows you want to outline, I'm going to outline this window for sure. I'm just going to outline the very bottom part, put a little, put a little kind of windowsill on those. But if you want to go all the way around, definitely can. So on this one, just the very bottom part is outlined and I'm going a little past the window so it's kind of a, like a ledge on the bottom of those windows there. And then if you want to outline these guys, definitely can while we have it on our brush. These are already purple, so we're not going to be able to see that. We'll choose a different color. So I have that on there. And then, um, next up is just like a little line at the top there. I'll put that just in case. I'm gonna wash off that brush, dry off that brush. I'm gonna go into some of my dark green now. Where I'm dry, get that brush nice and pointy. And then I will outline the rest of these. Green. 
And then I'll outline these little windows over here too. So while I have um, this dark green on this brush here, on this little brush, I'm also going to add um, these little shapes in the corners. So over here in these little corners here, I'm going to make kind of an L shape. There's a little gap, there's a little space. So that little L shape, and then give it a curve. And then the and do that on the other side also. So I'm gonna make my L shape, leave a little space like that, and I'll give it a little curve. So I have those two little shapes, I'm going to add on this top one here next. So I'm going to wash off my brush, dry off my brush, I'm going to use some of that light blue that I mixed up for that top window. Same brush though, same small brush. And we're going to make a little triangle. So I'm going to start this triangle right in the middle of the door, about halfway on that little cross beam, I'm going to make a line halfway in, like midway on the orange, and then here is going to be the little end of that triangle. I'll connect my lines, so I'm gonna connect it to the edges to make a triangle shape, I'm gonna fill it in. While I have that blue on my brush, I can also outline other windows. And I'm going to start um, using the same light blue to add a few little accent lines. So we're going to add a good amount of this light blue a few different places. So while we're working in here, I'm going to add that little sweep, that little curve underneath this little triangle shape. So I'm going to just follow the line and give, give it a little bit of space. I'm gonna follow it underneath. I'm also gonna follow the edges on here. So the this side kind of facing the door, on top of the purple, and give it a little accent line. And do the same on the other side. Facing the door. And both of those little pillars. I'm also going to add on these little squares in the top. If you wanted to use your uh, medium brush, you could definitely do that one. But I think I'll keep this one. So I'm going to make either rectangles or squares. Fill it in on the top, like an extra little brick. And 
and then I'm going to add some little lines, kind of going um, at a diagonal. I'll bring this one a little bit closer so you can see. So on these little pillars over here, I'm going to go at an angle. Some little lines. I'm gonna do a bit more paint. I'll do the same on this side. It doesn't matter which diagonal you go to. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so while we're working um, with this light blue color and this little brush, I'm going to start working in um, some of these little kind of abstract brick textures. Um, so for that, I'm going to bring this a little closer so you can see. Um, so we are going to start kind of making um, kind of L shapes place to start is in these little curves so you can do kind of little accent marks like that so they can be rounded or they can be curved I'm just gonna kind of have fun with it Be kind of like a little puzzle. So they can be kind of interlocking. They can be thicker, thinner. just by themselves.
So you can add as much brick texture as you like. Um, we're gonna let that dry for a little while and we're going to come back over here to our sky and start adding some confetti in our sky. Um, so these are kind of a little bit more square little marks here. So I'm gonna switch back over to my medium brush and you can do whichever colors you'd like. I'm gonna add um, this light blue first. I'm just a little base layer. So um, I found a little bit more light blue, added a little bit more white into it. And I'm using my brush kind of flat. I'm just making little um, black squares. Now confetti goes all different directions. This is going to be kind of similar to our sky color. It's a little hard to see. You can kind of see it there. I'm going to sprinkle it all around. I'm going to add more colors so you don't have to fill in your sky like really solidly. You can leave a little space in between. Go in different directions. After those light blue confettis, I'm going to add um, some tealy green ones. So I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush, I'm going to get a little of this dark green. And I'm going to add a few of those. Now while I have the tealy green on my brush, I can also add it a couple places in my Alamo if I wanted. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit to my windows. I'm using the, instead of a flat brush, I'm going to turn it and use the thinner part of that brush. And I'm going to add a little sleep in the window. If you want to use your smaller brush, definitely can. This will just make kind of a, a thicker mark. I'm going to make kind of a little L shape in those windows. Add a little curve in these. Then bring that a little closer. So I added a little curve in those rounded windows. You can do kind of a little L shape in those. I'm going to wash off my brush, dry off my brush, and I'm going to mix up a light yellow next for confettis and also for my Alamo. So I'm going to get a scoop of white over by my lighter of the two yellows. Mix those together. And that's white and yellow. And I'm going to add some more confettis. My light yellow here. Going in between my other colors, sprinkling it around. It's okay if they overlap. That's totally fine. And some light yellow confettis. And I'm also going to add this color to my Alamo. So I'm going to add this color little spots, like additional bricks, I'm kind of sprinkle it all over, and I'm going to keep using my medium brush, but you can definitely use that smaller brush if you need, and so kind of how I did the confetti is I'm going to do little squares, wherever I like. 
Now if that blue from your bricks is still really, really wet paint, let it dry a little bit, give it a pause, let it hang out, and then you can add these. But I'm not too, too worried if it mixes a little bit. I think it's kind of a cool look. squares going right over top the blue and do up and down or side to side and these kind of soften the look of the like blue bricky texture and add as many or as few as you like And then also add a little bit of yellow to my windows. Little highlights. switch to um, a smaller brush for these little details here and find my small brush into that light yellow still where's that small brush though and then I'm gonna add a little highlight and a little L shape on these guys right at the edge and then to this little triangle shape as well while I have it, I'll add a little bit of yellow at the bottom of these guys. A little sweep at the bottom. And I think those are all of our yellow details. Oh, I take the back. Let's put a little bit. Kind of swept on that little top bar while we have that yellow on our brush here. So these are very scratchy, very sweepy. Not too much paint on your brush. I'm scratching it on the horizontal lines. So I'm just adding a little bit of texture to that little top cross beam. If you get a little too much yellow, you can always let it dry a little bit and then add some more orange on top, just in case. So by this time, my confettis have dried a little bit more. I'm going to add some orange next. I switched back over to my medium brush. I'm gonna grab some orange and I'm gonna add some orange confettis. I've washed off my brush, dried off my brush, I'm gonna get some pink next. If you want this a little lighter, you can add a little bit of white. I'm gonna use it just by itself though. Kind of a dark pink, and that's okay. Or you can add a little white into it to make it lighter. I washed up my brush, dried up my brush. Um, my last confetti color is going to be white. 
Gonna get some white just by itself. I'm gonna switch over to my smallest little brush here, and then I'm gonna add last little touches of white into my Alamo also. So I'm using some white paint, twirl and drag, and then some plain tea. So in different places, we're gonna add a little bit of white. Bring it a little closer. I'm gonna add some to my door. So just like we did um, those lines before, add a little bit kind of in between. shapes. You can do a little an accent around the blue shape. And scratch a little bit more at the top. And a little bit in these little vertical lines. It doesn't have to go um, in between each one, but every once in a while. just like a little extra something. And then lastly, wherever you like in your album. Maybe just some more little bricks, little L shapes. on top of get a little sparkle. And for our last and final step, we need an artist signature. I use my little brush, I grab a little bit of black. I like to put my initials, but you can write your whole name, you can put a date, whichever you like. Make it official. Very cool, everyone! So thank you so much for joining us today in painting our beautiful confetti Alamo. We're gonna have to find a really good spot for it up on the wall. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.